Somebody told me to do it. Don't do that again. This was a Mother's Day gift. As you can tell, Erin has never worn a button-up shirt. The collar's in. The buttons aren't even buttoned right. Um, <laughs> Andrew, my other son, is just trying to be goofy, so he slicked his hair back. And Jason's trying to be Mr. GQ. He never really followed any of the fads. Like, even when I went to high school and stuff, I would wear tight pants with the other kids and stuff. And he'd always just wear khaki shorts and the shoes from Walmart. My mom would buy them. He just didn't really care. And he's just been different. That's pretty cool. Being an individual in skating is important because skating is individualistic. I mean, it's your own pursuit. It's, it's your own voice. And you don't want to fall into some pattern that's just like what everyone else is doing, because you get lost in the shuffle. When everyone was a kid, he was pretty quiet, um, always smiling, always laughing. Kind of kept to himself a lot. Totally different than what he is today. And I think the skateboarding helped bring that out in him. I know how I feel when it comes to skating. With other stuff, with chicks and fucking money, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Aaron got into skateboarding when he was about 12 years old. I wanted him badly to become a, a dirt bike rider. My dad had a major influence on me with being like, a daredevil -y skater, and he'd be like, you got it, you got it. And he'd, I'd just go, like, all right, cool. <laughs> and you got to take the boys out and let them experience what they're going to do. Give them the freedom to take it to the edge. When they get hurt, you basically say, hey, man, you got hurt. That's great. You can keep going. We never knew why he bent the way he bent or why he fell the way he fell, but it was just Aaron. And that's what always stood out about him was that he didn't look like any other kid when he was skating. I think the videos are a huge influence because they see these kids doing these tricks and they think, OK, I can do this. They would always watch a skate video before they went out and skate. It got them hyped to go, go do it. And it definitely had a huge impact. My view on video parts and skating is I get really impressed when I see people do things that I cannot do. People that have major pop and can get onto high ledges and can do really tech stuff, that's amazing to me because I can't do that and I understand how hard that is. But the people that actually inspire me to skate how I skate is not, kind of not really skateboarders. Like people like Travis Pastrana, like somebody who really just doesn't give a shit and he just goes for it and just does crazy stuff. Like people like that really inspire me. If you say Jaws, it's synonymous with the biggest Ollie these days, right? the biggest drops. It's hard to watch him really pursue something because at some point you're like, look at how far down he's jumping over and over and over, you know? And, and sometimes I just walk away because it hurts me. He won't quit. And I mean, that's, you know, that's the mark of a, someone that is going to have longevity, is, is someone who is going to see it through no matter what. Know thyself. <laughs> know thyself. You just have to know. Like my type of skating, I just, I like to just jump down stuff. I like to skate tranny, but like I really like to jump down stuff. Like that's fun to me, and that's what I feel like I can do best. God damn. Long way down. I have it pretty well calculated with how high I can go when when I'm feeling good, like the prime time of when I'm good. I remember it was a big ordeal when he all did a three stair. I don't know when he started jumping off roofs. He's still doing stuff that baffles what is possible as a human. I really don't understand how he can jump down the things he does and live to do it again. I have a sign above my desk that says, life is not a journey to the grave where you end up in a prim and pristine body, but all used up, all worn out, come in sliding sideways and exclaim, wow, what a ride. And that's the philosophy the boy's got to deal with. Everything he does in his life is all based off of energy. Like a bit more <laughs> it's weird as that sounds. Like if he sees something that gets him excited, he'll just he'll just be ready to go right then and there. I can tell when stuff throws me off. I kind of believe that the universe kind of sends you signs, and if you're just paying attention, you know. I don't know. I mean, it's fucking pretty fucking big. Little things will get to me. Like, oh, I didn't find the tape in my bag that I thought I had, like, right there. And it takes me 20 minutes to find tape in my bag. It's like, uh, my tool breaks when I'm, do I'm doing my freaking wheel. It's just like, ah, uh, well, I wasn't feeling it, and this makes you not feel that much more. 
Dude, I'm fucking over it. I'm not gonna try this right now. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. No. So this video part, it's pretty fun. It's cool that I'm getting to work on this project and it's like, this is what I'm focusing on for the next nine months. If I can get one trick a day, even if it's not a good trick, one trick a day, like that's, that's great. It's not filming like, hey, Bobby, you wanna go to this, you wanna go skate today? Grab your camera and let's go skate down the street. It's not like that anymore. <laughs> it turns into like much more of like a, you know, like a job. When Aaron's in his zone, you can't really get him out of it. There's no conditions that can stop him unless somebody physically stops him. I don't mind pressure. If it's coming to you, just take it one, one step at a time. Like, you have all these things coming down to you. Take one of them, do that one. And you're done with that one. Another one, do that one. Done with that one, you know? So that's the way that I think you handle pressure instead of just freaking out and caving in. I gotta go, fuck this, like, I'm out. well-rounded, you have to have a lot of different tricks in your part, you know? Otherwise, you're just gonna be like, oh, he just does that, you know? I have a fucking giant trick list on my phone right now. Barracks part tricks. I maybe got like two of them out of 20 crossed out. But, you know, like, I've gotten all the other stuff in between. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, I didn't want to, like, get too close. Yeah. I wanted to keep the whole spot in frame and show how high you're going at the same time. For me, filming a video part is thinking about stuff that you, you think you're capable of, usually you know you're capable of, and setting some sort of timeline for how you're going to accomplish these things. And, and some things just happen on the fly, obviously. And, and thinking, okay, if I get enough of these progressive landmark tricks and put them together, is that, is that gonna be enough? And, and I think you have an idea of when you have enough. I'm really, I'm trying hard for this. I'm, I'm trying like really hard for this, for this, because I'm putting my heart, my blood, sweat, and tears in this. Dude, I'm freaking skateboarding, like, and getting paid to do it. Why am I? Why would I ever complain? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
bien. Oh my God.